We all face challenges, crucibles in life, that make us or break us, and our health is often the biggest crucible we will face. This podcast is designed to help you achieve your health goals through simple, strategic, and proven methods. In every episode, we'll learn about how to overcome your health crucibles and live your best life. Hello, everybody. This is Mary Lee Aitenhan coming to you live from my Dividend Studios here in Brentwood, Tennessee for my podcast, Crucible. And in today's Crucible, we're going to be talking about, hey, be honest. You aren't going to the gym. Here's why that's good. And we're going to talk about the following three points. You won't burn enough calories to outrun your diet. Exercising increases your appetite and you need to find a program that doesn't require exercise. So people assume that if you want to lose weight, you need to hit the gym. So you join this high intensity class, you know, and it doesn't seem to get you any closer to your weight goals and you are not alone. It's highly likely that your diet is holding you back. Have you indulged in eating a thousand calories and justified it by, oh, I'll just go to the gym tomorrow and burn it off. But if you spend 60 minutes in that high intensity workout, you're maybe going to burn 600 calories, maybe more if you're a guy, but probably less if you're female. And especially if you're over the age of 50, you need to consume vegetables, fruits, and protein with low carbs and no processed food. And that's the food in the middle of the grocery store. So exercise as well increases your appetite. And when we exercise, our brain tells us that you need to eat more in order to recover. And while that's a good thing and true in theory, usually people end up consuming more calories and then oftentimes they end up gaining weight instead of losing weight going to the gym. So with poor nutrition and habits, you aren't going to be able to reach your peak exercising anyway. And for every pound that you're overweight, you're going to put an extra four pounds of pressure on your knees, your joints, your hips, all of it. And as you start to age, you notice it. So if you're not going to exercise, then you need to find a program that doesn't require you to exercise while you're in fat burn. And the program that I offer does exactly that. And when I found that out, I was like, oh my gosh, this is a game changer. And this is a dream come true for me because I did not have time in my schedule to wax out. 15, 30 minutes to do anything, let alone drive to the gym, which was at least 45 minutes from my house. But I lost, without exercising, 32 pounds in three months. I lost 27 inches and I was eating six times a day. I wasn't hungry. My carbs were high enough that I literally didn't have those cravings. I drank 64 ounces of water. I was provided a health coach that was free. I received free educational materials. And I was actually taught to change my habits for health and not habits for disease. So after I reached my goal weight, I added in 30 minutes of walking and Maybe that was a mile, maybe a mile and a half, maybe two miles, depending on the day. And then I added a personal trainer who lives next door. And I challenge any of you to come here to Brentwood and work out with Laura because she is like an Olympian. (laughs) And I mean that literally as in her mindset, as well as her physical capability. And she will have you sweating in no time. So the greatest thing about my health plan is that there's an exoplan. So you don't have to be on a diet or a whatever, you know, for the rest of your life. We, we add in all the fruit, vegetables, dairy, and healthy grains so that you can then exist on eating food that you can buy in the outside part of the grocery store. So be honest, you're not going to go to the gym and, and you want to lose weight. I get it. I get it 100%. But come join me. I lost 32 pounds. My husband lost 40 pounds. Neither one of us exercised within the three months that we lost that weight. And then we were able to incorporate it back in. So please reach out and contact me directly at championsofcrucibles at gmail.com. Fill out my jot form and we'll be able to figure out your goals so that you never have to set foot in a gym again. Thank you and be blessed. This income testimonial is not representative of the average earnings that coaches achieve with Optavia. Only a very small number of coaches will achieve income that is within the range of this testimonial. 
Optavia makes no guarantee of financial success. Success with Optavia results only from successful sales efforts, which require hard work, diligence, skill, persistence, competence, and leadership. Please see the Optavia Income Disclosure Statement for statistics on actual earnings of coaches. In a clinical study, the group on the Optimal Weight 5-in-1 plan lost 10 times more weight than the self-directed group. Average weight loss for clients on the Optimal Weight 5-in-1 plan is 12 pounds. References include Dr. A's Habits of Health book by Wayne Scott Anderson, Your Life book by Wayne Scott Anderson, The 15 Commitments of Conscious Leadership by Jim Diethmer, Diana Chapman, and Kaylee Warner Klemp. Lifelong Transformation, One Healthy Habit at a Time, Optimal Weight, 5-in-1 Plan, Optimal Weight, 3-in-3 Plan, Optivia, The Four Components of Our System, Optivia Coach, The Habits of Health Transformational System, Your Life Book by Dr. Wayne Scott Anderson.